We're back on Squid Island. If any of you don't know, this is a series with Jelly and Craner. But today's a sad day. Yep, Jelly has made a law. Let's just go remind ourselves. Over here at the town hall, Jelly was elected mayor. And his law that he put in place was that citizens are not allowed to live in buildings that resemble a tower structure. And well, as you can see, that is my house. And it is very much looking like a tower. Which means that we have to move <laughs> out or demolish it. But I think we're going to be better off moving out. Yeah, that's right. The mayor of Squid Island has kicked us out. Very sad. But we're going to move on to bigger and better things. This is our dog, Bobby, that we adopted. Hello, little Bobby. Okay, that's very rude. You should not say that to your owner. Oh my. First things first is to hit the chests and I guess just grab the items that are valuable. I mean, to be fair, some of this I could just leave here and then come back and collect it. As long as we've moved out, that's what matters. And we also need to grab some items down here. Just grab, I guess, whatever we feel like could be useful, which actually is, is not a lot. We don't have much. Um, oh, we've got some blocks still cooking in here or cooked. Oh, and we should probably take our bed as well. But otherwise, yeah, there's not much point bringing anything else. Come on, Bobby, let's go. Another thing as well is the mayor told us that we should renovate the walkway system in the town. I mean, come on. That is really irritating. Actually, you know something we could do? Considering he's literally kicked us out of our house, we're just going to do a terrible job at renovating the pathways. So before we find a new location for our home, let's grab some of the carpets. I think they got placed in here. Yes. I am just going to carpet this entire thing with red. I mean, look at it this way. He told me to, you know, improve the pathway system. But if he wants to kick us out at the same time, then this is the type of quality he's going to get. Although we are going to run out of carpet, so I think I need to go grab the rest from wherever Craner put them. All right, I've officially run out now, but this is how much I've done. Um, Yeah, fully upgraded pathway system. Take that, Mayor Jelly, you loser. I also just wanted to quickly grab these signs over here and also break this stuff in here. I want this all to despawn. I don't want anyone to get any value out of what we're leaving behind here. I guess we could take the furnaces. That's probably worth taking. And just break that one. And okay, Bobby, could you please be careful? Thank you. And then let's just put some signage on here. There we go. Nice and clear. Abandoned. All right, Bobby, let's go. We're going to find a new location on the island for our house. There's probably going to be some options. We've never really gone too far out. There's lots of countryside here. I mean, maybe it would be nice to... I don't know, Get take this opportunity to get some distance. I mean, I guess something up here could be nice, like overlooking the water and our adoption center. All right, let's start chopping these trees down and see what this looks like cleared out. All right, so we chopped some trees down here, which has meant that we've actually gathered a ton of wood. So I'm gonna start sort of building out a flatter surface. And then, I don't know, somehow trying to get some shape as well at the same time. Just going to start placing the dirt down and see where it goes. Okay, I've been doing quite a bit of terraforming. Just broken my last shovel doing this. But this is kind of the rough area that I'm going to be working on for building my house, basically. I just wanted to build like a, a cool looking raised mountain type thing but yeah turns out digging up like an absolute ton of dirt takes forever however now i do need to be careful because i don't want to build anything that could be misconstrued as a tower the, I, you know i'm tempted to build a castle i've you know i love castles they're kind of my favorite thing but you know at the same time i do feel like they're quite common they've been done a few times one thing we could build is basically an observatory so a circular building with a big dome on top like a glass dome I, I think that would be pretty awesome now we do have somewhat limited resources so i think i do need to get some stuff cooking and just start prepping as much as possible but i actually quite like having these cobblestone pillars like this 
So I'm thinking, I know that we have tons of stone based builds on this, but hey, we're kind of poor. So let's start, that's wrong. Let's start off by building the outside. And then kind of see where we go from there. So that would be basically our exterior. This side of the build is the lowest. So I think this is where I would basically put some level of staircase here. Uh, actually, she probably just put a temporary one in just so I can at least get up easily. Uh, and then we can sort of expand on that. So I think what I want to do is technically, I think it would be better if we put two floors on this as well. And the only way I'm going to even get this done is, yeah, we're going to have to start getting some resources. You know what? I'm actually just going to dig a little bit of a quarry. We might be able to use it again for something in the future. I don't know, but oh wait, did I not? I think I left some, I think I've got ladders in here. Yeah, I got some. All right, let's start collecting resources. So I think this will be the floor of the first level and then we'll have our glass dome above this. So let's get this layer built in. Now, I think in the interests of resource management, we're going to go with a wooden floor. We could always change that later, but yeah, we're going to struggle otherwise. We could put a little bit of a stone surround. I got to be careful that we don't fall in that hole. That's going to be dangerous. So we'll add like a little bit of a stone sort of flare. Oh my. I literally just said that. It's a good thing there's water at the bottom. This place is actually quite big. I, I think I might have overestimated how much house I really need. But uh, hey, as long as it doesn't get destroyed. That would suck. All right, that's that bit fully done. Let's collect some of these resources that's cooking and also top it up. So now I just need to extend this wall and then we'll start building the glass structure above it. Very exciting. Now, while we have the rest cooking, I want to start building the, the, the kind of structure of the glass. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of just do it like this. I don't know when to end that. That feels about right. Let's test it over here. Well, that now we've ended up higher. I um, think that's where we were on that side. So let's build this on all of the sides. Oh, wait, we've, we've not done it on this side. Whoops. Okay, so this is the shape that I'm kind of working on at the moment. We do... I think I've left my glass. I've, I'll show you kind of my thought process. Let me just grab the glass. This is so precarious. Okay, glass, glass, glass. A little bit more in there. So... My thought process is now the glass is what kind of fills in and this just adds a bit of a window. I mean, I guess we're going to come around the side to here at the very least so we can do that. So we can at least get it to that height before the glass bit starts to raise. Hey, Bobby, how you doing down there, little guy? All right. Good to know. So basically, this is what I have achieved so far. My only problem is, is that I don't really, I, it's very difficult to copy. Like I kind of just winged it and I know that looks right, but getting the rest filled in, not so easy. Um, okay. I think, I think I know. I think I did it like that and then I just remove each block. This is a lot of work. Uh, okay. I'm, is that? the same i think that is the same if it is we've done a great job i just realized as well we might change these to stairs so there's a bit of like a nicer slope but i also kind of do like the style of it at the same time so we'll see about that meanwhile let's get the rest of these in i am kind of uh wasting glass doing this like this but honestly considering how oh, i just wasted that considering how long this is taking look it's just what we're going to do. Oh, I, do, I actually like it. It looks better than I thought. And we can still kind of see out of it. Yeah, I like this. It's a cool space. Now, I don't really know what I'm doing with this floor. It's very dark down here as well. But I guess this is like my, my main storage floor where I store things and make things and yeah, all of that. So I guess 
first thing to do down here would be to remove a floor layer and then place our wood. And then pretty much the exterior base of the building is done then. Uh, running out of resources is maybe the most infuriating thing that can happen while doing stuff. <sighs> okay, I can finish the floor later and I can sort this entrance out. Um, about the massive hole that we have now, we should probably just fill that in. Um, we can investigate uses for that later. But I am going to place down our bed over here. Set our location, our whatever, our respawn, whatever you want to call it. And I think all we need to do now for this episode is take a look outside. And there we are, the observatory. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a bit stone colored. I might need to remove this tree. But hey, I like the, this, the thought that counts, okay? Anyway, we're going to keep improving on that. We've done our pathways, so Jelly better be happy. And we've moved out of our tower because of his dumb law. I'll see you in the next one.